everyone, and welcome to PC Building Simulator. So, um, well, the name is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you build and repair PCs. <laughs> um, and, uh, well, I have, I have no experience with building PCs in real life or anything. This is just me playing a game. But, um, but I do quite enjoy it, and I've been playing it quite a lot. You can see I'm level 18. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I decided to do a video on it. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do more. Uh, I uh, I guess we'll see. But uh, yeah, let's open everything up here. My emails, my shop. This is what I always do at the start. I open up these things. Uh, pot rankings, because that's quite useful. And PC Bay, which, which is uh, where you well, it's a second-hand PC component marketplace. You buy used parts. Uh, actually, what I mainly do with PC Bay is sometimes it comes up with broken PCs. Uh, so I buy those. I fix whatever is broken. Uh, I Sometimes I upgrade them. Uh, then I overclock them. And then I sell them for a profit. And um, I have one here for sale. And that's exactly what I did with that. So, uh, yeah. But the uh, emails, um, I have, it was this one, right. So I have the parts for that. A golden version. <laughs> um, right. Wait, I gotta put the, it was Fitzgerald, right? Yeah. So I gotta put that on here. Right. So motherboard. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty far into the game, so I have um, a bunch of upgrades. Like I um, like I have uh, so all the screws. They um, like uh, all the screws are automatic. Uh, so I don't have to click them to like screw and unscrew. I, it just happens automatically, which is very nice. I uh, gotta get thermal paste onto that CPU. Very important. <laughs> get an air cooler. Um, I also have so these cables here out on the side that they attach automatically. Uh, memory. I have two of these sticks. Uh, let's see, gotta go, gotta get a hard drive in there. Um, I usually go with the, um, like when, when building PCs, the two terabyte Seagate is, is usually my go-to. Um, and power supply. I got a, I got like a really powerful power supply here because this guy wanted dual graphics cards. Um, and uh, dual graphics cards, you need a powerful PCU um, because they draw a lot of power. So you definitely want to get a, a really good one because otherwise the um, otherwise the computer might just blue screen <laughs> if it draws too much power. But yeah, dual graphics cards in general are um, they're fairly complicated. <laughs> There we go. Right, let's get the cables in here. Wait, did you want any like specific cables or anything? No, you just wanted MSI, which is the graphics cards. So let's get all this hooked up. There is one upgrade I don't have, um, which is to make all cables attach automatically, which I probably will get that uh, at some point. But uh, yeah, so gotta get a USB drive in here to install the operating system. Get the side panel back on. Right. 
that. So I've got to install 3 mock. Which uh, 3 mock is, as far as I understand it, it's a way... It's a way to measure the processing power of a PC. Um, so the higher the score, the better the processing power. That's how I understand it anyway. Let's run 3D Mark, see if we, get, if we get the required score with two graphics cards. I'm thinking it shouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, I mean, dual graphics cards is like... First of all, you need to make sure the motherboard supports it. It's down here with multi-GPU. It's this Crossfire slash SLI. That's because there's two categories um, of dual graphics cards. So, you know, if it says NA, it doesn't support it. But then there's uh, Crossfire or SLI. So these support both, and like these only this only supports Crossfire, for example. Then you need to make sure with the graphics cards that they support it, um, and which category they're in. So this is Crossfire, for example. And again, if it says NA, it doesn't support it. Then you know the easiest way to do it is to just get two of the same graphics cards. But, but what you could also potentially do is like if it says like uh, t this says 1080 for example. So if you get another one uh, that's that is 1080 as well, it should work even if it's a different brand. Um, but obviously the easiest is to just get two of the same graphics card. But um, but yeah, so <laughs> so it, it's a little a little involved um, with dual graphics cards, but you know it can be done. And this is almost done, so let's see. Ah, oh, look at that. 9,971. We only needed 6,800, so... <laughs> Dual graphics card is, is, is powerful. It's very powerful. So, that should be done. Five stars. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a little... A little bit low up here right now, but that's because I messed up on one and got one star, so... <laughs> um, that was my own fault. Um, but, yeah. So, let's see here with um, PCs. Uh, I do already have the... Um, like, I'm a, I'm a trophy hunter. I am, and I have a lot of the trophies already. I do also have the one for having five stars. Um, I did manage to get that. Uh, basically, you need to get... Um, you need to do 25 jobs in a row uh, with 5 stars. And because you have this bongle thing, that's 25 reviews. So you need um, so you need 25 in a row with 5 stars. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I also renamed. This was originally Tim's Red Hot Repairs. Because <laughs> like you inherit it from your uncle or whatever. Like you usually do in these games. You inherit it from your father or your uncle or your grandfather or, <laughs> you know. Uh, so yeah, now it's Star PC Workshop. Maybe not the most creative name, but, um, but there you go. <laughs> uh, I would like to platinum the game, but I don't know if I'm going to because it's like, it's extremely time consuming. Like there's a trophy for having one million dollars in your account. It's, it's crazy. Um, anyway. Uh, new pot there. Okay. So new jobs. Um, you built me a new PC. I just want to play Feudal Fantasy 13. Play on Final Fantasy, obviously. <laughs> Which I love Final Fantasy. That's great. Anyway, um, my brother has MSI on his PC. He's at the best. Can you make this your number one priority, please? Okay, so let's accept that. We have another PC build. Um, want the CPU to overclock the GPU. And you need it tomorrow. Ooh. Okay. Well, uh, no use parts. Octave fanboy. Okay. Well, we'll have a look at that in a moment. Okay. So I need some repairs. No idea what's wrong. Let's just say the good news is I found my hamster. Oh no! Oh, that's horrible. Oh man, poor thing. Uh. Anyway. Mother bro motherboard is broken, apparently, and sounds like it's dusty as well, so 
Um, Gigabyte for U70 Gaming 5. This one. Oh, I can't believe that. Poor hamster. Ah, uh, okay. Many thanks for your previous work. Uh, my son has been very happy with the computer and assures me he writes everything he needs to do his homework. <laughs> the reason I laugh at that is because when, um, this is like, there are like some storylines that come in and this was someone who said that her son needed a PC for schoolwork. Um, and um, th then listed all the requirements. And one of the requirements was to play World of Tanks at recommended specs. <laughs> yeah, so much for it being a school computer. Uh, anyway, unfortunately, as can often happen with small children, there has been an accident. I have an adventurous three-year-old who managed to push a slice, slice of pizza into the bottom of the computer where the power cable plugs in. How did he manage to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, it has not turned on since, and my eldest is furious at this interruption to his studies. Could you take a look and get it working again? I'm thinking he's more furious at the interruption to his World of Tanks play, but okay. <laughs> okay, replace the PSU. You have a Cooler Master 600. Uh, this one. Okay. Um, so this person needs this by tomorrow, so we gotta get on that. A uh, budget of 2000, which is pretty good. Um, so there is a case that I quite like, which is this one. The Dragon Edition. <laughs> and let's see here. So let's get um let's let's get a pretty good PSU. Which is gonna help with the overclocking. Let's just go all out, get an 850. Storage, uh two terabyte Seagate. That's usually my go-to. Right, and then we need something we can overclock. Which is not all the CPUs you can overclock, it's um but these Intel ones that have a K at the end can be overclocked. So um Hmm. Let's get um wait, I have that. Do you care about use parts? Yeah you do, okay. So I probably can't use that because it's probably used. Yeah. Okay. How about we get... This. Let's try that. And the CPU cooling. Again, with the overclocking, we need a good cooler. The better the cooler, the more it can be overclocked. Um, it's not like a huge amount of overclocking you want though, so let's get, um, let's get this. Uh, motherboard, right, okay. What was the one I bought? What was that? The socket. What's this one? It's a coffee lake. These Intel ones have different one have different sockets. They're all LGA 1151, but this is coffee lake. There's Cappy lake, there's sky lake. Um, so the motherboard needs to match with that. Um, coffee leak. Um, let, let's get that one. Um, if RAM doesn't really matter that much, does it? Let's get that one. Graphics card. Do I have any that aren't used? I have that one and that one. That one is actually already over what you need, which would be kind of a 
bit of a waste. But this one I don't even know. Core frequency is like at a point where I don't know if it can be overclocked that much. Yeah, you know, let's let's use the other one. Um Choose the one I already have. And then let's see. I have two other ones. I have this one who wants to play Overwatch and the feudal fantasy thing. Right, will it run? Feudal fantasy. Minimum specs. So I know. Recommend the specs. Okay. Oops. Right. Should we do that as well? Let's do it. Okay. So cases. Um. Oh, you have a massive budget. Four thousand two hundred fifty. Okay. So. What do we get? Uh, that was the one I had before. Um, whoops. How about, um, how about this one? Let's give that a shot. Power supply. Again, we need a good one. Let's just get that. Storage. Get another two terabyte. And then AMD Ryzen 7 8 core 1700. 8 core 1700. Need cooling. Um, I'll just get another one of the ones I, I uh, got here. Let's see? Plus one motherboard. Whoops, motherboard. Um, so I need to be an AM4 this time. Let's just get that one. Steel Legend. Okay. Uh, how much RAM do we need? 16 gigabyte. Okay. And the motherboard. Max RAM speed. 3466. So anything above that will be wasted. Get 3400. Um, let's get that one. And graphics card. AMD Radiant. Do I even have any AMD? Yeah, I have these two. RX 550, uh, 570. Well, I don't have that. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, I guess if we just type in 570. There we go. RX 570. 4 gigabytes of VRAM. So if we get, right, oh, you want MSI, okay, good thing I checked that. So you want MSI, um, so let's get this one, that should do it. It's like when it says that, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't need to be that brand, but it can just it says RX five seventy. So as long as it has that in the name, it should work. Um, is that everything? I think so. so let's get next day delivery. There we go. Um, I do have this as well, but that that can wait. Right, 
turn off the lights, save on my utility bill, and end day. Go to work. Right, turn the lights back on. And then let's start with these. This just needs to be PSU replaced. Actually, nope, it's the one in the back that needs... There we go. Um... <laughs> I'm trying to get the wires, there we go. There we go. We can get it out. Oh, I forgot to pick up my parts. There we go. Get rid of the broken one. Get that in there. Get the cables back in. And then boot to, to OS. Whoops. The side panel's back on. There we go. Okay. So that's done. There you go. Your son can get back to playing World of Tanks now. <laughs> So this, who is that? Lorraine. Lorraine Martelli. Um, right, you needed the motherboard replaced and you needed it cleaned out. Get rid of the top, get rid of that. Oh, okay. It's one of those reverse ones. <laughs> they always confuse me. Okay, this way. There we go. Uh, get our compressed air. Let's clean all of this out. Okay, I think that's it. Looks clean to me. And then it was the motherboard, right? So we need to, uh, we need to remove all of this. Move the air cooler, the CPU, RAM. Get rid of all these wires. Whoops. Need to get rid of the graphics cards as well, man. Uh, man, a lot of wires in here. <laughs> there we go. Oh man, lots and lots of wires. Uh, that one. Let's do a graphics cards in here. Um, what's this? It's an SSD, I guess. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now we can finally get the motherboard out. Okay. Get the new one in there. There we go. Um... And get everything back in. <laughs> there you go. Thermal paste. Can't forget that. Oh. The fan is broken as well. Okay. So we need to get a new one of those. Go the graphics cards back in. Right. 
Um, he's got a new fan. I have this, but... Did you care about used parts? No. I could try, but it's it's a pretty poor one, so it might complain about inferior air cooler. I know, I'll try. Okay, no, it uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's got a... <clears throat> Gotta hook everything back up. And uh, that should be it. Just get rid of that broken one. PCI lock. Side panel. Top panel. <laughs> no OS. Okay. Oh, I need to get this off again. How is that practical, by the way? The fact that you have to remove the top panel to put a USB drive in. <laughs> Doesn't seem very practical. There we go. Um, right, top panel needs to go back on. Okay, so that should be done. Did I forget the thermal paste? Did I? Oh. Was it because- was it because of the cooler? It probably was, wasn't it? Uh, no, no, I think I put thermal paste back. I think I put thermal paste on, but the cooler I put in was a really bad one and it had dual graphics cards. So, uh, <laughs> and it, seemed, it, pro it was probably a really, it was probably the fact that I put in a really bad cooler. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I guess that was my own fault. <laughs> Whoops. Um... <laughs> yeah, do we have anything interesting on PC Bay? Not really. Sorry, Lorraine. <laughs> okay, so this was the overclocking thing which needed to be done today. Okay. Allison. Um. Right. You didn't want to use pause, did you? No. Arctic. Did I get an Arctic? Oh no. Okay, I did. Uh, Arctic Freezer. Great. Okay. So, what did I get for you? It was that one, right? Coffee Lake one. Right, so get that in there. Get thermal paste. Cooler. RAM. Um, did I decide to use one of these? I think I decided to use this graphics card, right? 
Ah, I always forget to remove this. Uh, storage. Easy to remove the back panel. There we go. Power supply. Whoops. Was it that one? I think it was that one. Oh. Hold on. That needs to go. And then that. Get the cable out so I can, I can put this back in. PCI lock as well. Back panel. Uh, and then cables. Then we need to do some overclocking. Which, uh, <laughs> uh, when I unlocked overclocking, like, I had no idea. Um, I had no idea what to do. But, um, well, I basically just googled PC building simulator overclocking and it came up with this, uh, really helpful, really helpful guide on Steam, just called a basic guide to overclocking. Which, uh, was super helpful. And uh, now I can actually overclock. <laughs> so thank you to whoever wrote that guide. And uh, yeah, the one I put in was already over. The graphics card I put in was already over what the person is asking for, so I don't actually need to overclock that. Uh, but I do need to overclock the CPU. And uh, needs to be. 4600 megahertz, so let's get that up to 4600. Increase the voltage. And hopefully that's stable. We need it to not blue screen and we need it to not say yes under CPU throttled. Okay, great. That's stable. So you should be done. I just need to put the um, side panel back on. There we go. And you didn't want any like cables or anything, right? No. There we go. Five stars. I love my new rig. Yay. Uh, and then it was this one, right? Magical Lorraine. Another Lorraine. Right. So, motherboard. Um, was it this? Must have been that. Thermal paste. And the other one that I got one star for, was it because was it because I forgot the thermal paste or was it because um I put in a really really bad fan? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to go back and, and rewatch that to find out. Uh right. Which graphics card was it? It was one said five seventy, right? That one. And again I forget to remove these. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Right. That one. Right, and this needs to go on the back. Uh put that in there. Power supply. There we go. 
Uh, get the side panel back on. Hmm. Let's see. Should we get some colored cables of some kind? Let's see. How about some pink ones? <laughs> Why not? Is that it? Get a USB drive. Just install the operating system. And get the side panel back on. And then that should be done. Once it boots, that is. should be it. I love the specs of the new PC. Good. Good, good. Okay. New parts. So what do we have? Build me a PC. Okay. You want 3D Mark score of 4022 and you want water cooling. You can do that. New build! Uh, as well for Adobe Photoshop. Can you finish in four days? Don't want to use parts, one Seagate. Okay. Ah, Stuart. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Just wanted to say thanks for throwing those purple lights into my rig. Any brighter, and I need to wear sunglasses just to boot the thing up. It's amazing! <laughs> I was, wonder I was wondering if I could get you to do a quick upgrade, though. I just bought a copy of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and I wanted to run at 60 FPS all the way, baby. <laughs> if you could get the game running smoothly, I'd be really grateful. Okay, so we need PUBG at 4K specs. Um, thanks for the extra RAM, it's made a big difference. This PC is perfect now. Just in time too, I've got finals coming up soon, so I gotta knuckle down and get on with my work. No more games until after I pass. Thanks. Turns out the guy in that case can't use the self-defense excuse, he's guilty as hell for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, one of those storyline things. Um, okay. So you need to upgrade to play PUBG at 4 4K. So let's see- oh well, wait, I already have it open. Um, there we go, 4K. Okay, 8 gigabyte of RAM, you should already have that. Yeah, it's pretty poor though. <laughs> um, but it should run, hopefully. Um, you want an Intel Core i7-7700. Although, what do you have? Okay, it should fit in there, hopefully. Um, I7-7700. That one. Just, what, what do you have? 6700K. Okay. I'm not really sure now because I seven seventy seven hundred. Because this is Cappy Lake, and the one he has in there is a Sky Lake. But like, I've, I've found before that like with Cappy Lake and Sky Lake, that sometimes those are kind of interchangeable. Like, I've been able to uh, put a Sky Lake into a Cappy Lake, or vice versa, whatever. Uh, Coffee Lake definitely does not work, though. Coffee Lake is his own thing. Um, 
I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll get it and then see if it fits in there. And otherwise, I'm gonna have to order order a motherboard. Um. Right, graphics card. GTX 1080. You have a 1070. So we're going to need a 1080. Um, it says NVIDIA, so sure, let's get that one. Because we do have this. Uh, oh, I am kind of wondering if I should order more RAM. Because this is like the lowest, lowest RAM speed you can get. But I don't know. Uh, it just says eight gigabytes, so it should be good enough. Um, I don't know. <laughs> we'll try. Um. Let's see here. This person says it's urgent. So you do have to do it within like a few days. Four or five star rating. So let's do that one. Um, 3D Mark score of 4022. That's, um, that's not much, really. You're not saying anything about used parts. So what do I got? Um, I do have a Coffee Lake motherboard. Um, have that CPU, but that's not very powerful. But you also don't need that much. We gotta need some better RAM though. Gotta need some better RAM. What can this motherboard handle? Ah, oh, 4000 megahertz. No problem. Um, should I just get 8 gigabyte? What's your budget? Ah, oh, you got plenty of budget. So I guess I'll just get, um, let's get that one, 16 gigabyte. Uh, graphics cards. I have a bunch of used ones. And you don't need that high of a score, so I'm thinking one of those should be should be possible. Power supply. Get that one. Need a case. Um, hmm. Let's try that one. And, uh, yeah, you wanted water cooling. So let's see. Get that one. Actually, does it fit in here? Uh, yeah, it should fit. So, is that everything? I think so. Um, four days, eight days. I mean, let's let's just stick to this for now. Um, bye now. Right. Turn off the lights. And day. Okay, go to work. Turn on the lights. Right, you are the uh. Player on those battlegrounds thing. <laughs> so, what did I do? I got CPU, right? C 
see. 7700. Oh, I forgot to pick up my parts. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that does work. Great, let's put that in there. Um, it wasn't you that wanted water cooling, was it? <laughs> There's someone else. Um, nanographics card. It was the Nvidia one, right? That one. Cables. And that should work. There we go. Um, this one. Thank you. And then we had two builds. Let's do this guy with the water cooling. Um, oh, this is a broken PC I bought on, on uh, PC Bay. Right. Um, so let's see. Uh, Okay, motherboard. It's a coffee leg one. Wait. Efficient doser, okay. <laughs> this one. There you go. Uh that one. I want paste. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna have to remove this fan. Get that on there. Ram. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Power supply. Why is this not? Okay, there we go. And then graphics card. Um, what are we gonna put in there? Because four thousand is not that much. Uh, let's try this. I can always put a better one in there, or I can even overclock it. If it comes down to that. Gotta install the operating system. <laughs> Gotta get 3D Mark. that. 
let's get this uh, broken PC I got. No RAM. Okay. So apparently the RAM is broken. So we're gonna need some new RAM here. And um... Let's see... What we got in here. MSI 370 Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard That supports 3000 Hz of memory So um Let's just, let's just get one of these and upgrade it a little bit. And, um... Hmm. I don't know. I could, um... No, it's incompatible. I think let's let's just upgrade the RAM and then we'll overclock it. Um Wow. Okay, uh we definitely need a better graphics card in here. <laughs> wow, okay. That did not work. <laughs> so we're gonna need a better one. Like I actually use like you can see the cell value, I kind of use that to gauge how powerful it is. So, um, that's 57, this is 88, so actually no, that's a, a new one, it's not used. So let's not do that. Um, let's try this one. And run 3D Mark again. Um, so yeah, this I'm gonna get the RAM. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna overclock it. And uh, and by the way, if you're gonna sell PCs, I don't think I've said it so far. Uh, <laughs> um, apologies if I have said it before. I don't think I did. If you're gonna sell PCs on PC Bay, make sure you always run 3D Mark uh, as the very last thing because running 3D Mark. Uh, increases the value and sometimes it can increase it by quite a lot so uh, definitely do that oh okay we have another broken PC so let's get that Um, more new builds. Got another one who wants Adobe Premiere. Wow, I'm getting a lot of builds here. Um, benchmark of 4418 and water cooling. You also want a new PC. Wow, okay. Also play on those battlegrounds at 4K. Many thanks for repairing my son's computer. I made sure to tell him to keep his bedroom door closed to avoid another disaster, but still my adventurous three-year-old found her way in. By the time we found her, she had jammed a dozen 
felt tip pens into the computer through the fans in the rear. We have not dared turn it on since. I am only thankful that it was not the 100 pack of, of wax crayons she got for her birthday. I hope the necessary repairs can be completed quickly as my son's teacher tells me he is behind on his homework. No doubt due to these incidents. Thanks again for your understanding. Replace graphics card. Okay. I'm guessing the reason he is behind is probably because of he's playing too much World of Tanks, honey. <laughs> Anyway, this is still not, um... So I'm gonna overclock the, the GPU. Uh, get that in and the GPU tuner. And I think that should do it. So, get this, get this, set this to infinite, on, okay. So GPU tuning, we're going to do that, and then how much power do we have here? 500, so not, not the most we could possibly have, but let's try. Because you want it to not draw more power than you have available, because they're the blue screens. And you need the temperature to not go above 95 degrees. Like, you want it under 95 degrees, basically. Because otherwise, again, it blue screens. <laughs> Okay, 93, so we can get it like a smidge more. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we definitely don't want it any higher than that. Okay, run 3D Mark again. Um, replace graphics card. What do you have in here? MSI 1080 Gaming X Plus 8G. See if I can remember all that. <laughs> Gaming Plus 8G. That one, right? Yeah, it's gotta be that one. And then all these other ones are new builds. Look at this. <laughs> I have to do a lot of PC building. Anyway, let's just let's just wait for this to, to finish, and then um, hopefully we'll have the right score, and um, and I'll end the episode. So um, uh, yeah, uh, this was a look at PC building simulator. Um, I, I really like this game. I enjoy it a lot. And, um, well, let me know if you want to see me play more of this. Look at that. 4,330. Fantastic. So let's put these, these side panels back on. There we go. You didn't want anything else, right? Intel. Did I put an Intel in there? Uh... Yes. Okay. There we go. Five stars, thank you. Okay. So I'm going to end it there. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.